So what I'm here to do today is, I think, just pass on a little bit of information that I have. Um, I have been a herbalist naturopath for 35 years. Um, I'm also a registered nurse. I did my training in the late 60s and worked in intensive care and coronary care and then went into operating theatres where I worked for about another 30, maybe 40 years and retired probably about 10 years ago, though I do still help a gynaecologist in his rooms about once a month to do a list. So that's about all the nursing I do now. But in the 80s, um, I started studying herbal medicine and naturopathy. When it, in that time, it was a little bit strange for a registered nurse to go and study herbal medicine, especially when you were assisting surgeons in the operating theatre. So I used to get a lot of um, questions about what I was doing and why I was doing it. But now, 30 odd years on, I've been working with clients and it's the most satisfying thing um, I have ever done. Um, I think when you've been doing it for as long as I have, you have an intuitive feeling for your dispensary. And when somebody walks into your clinic, you actually know what they need and you know exactly how, you, how your herbs work together because you've been using them for a long time. And that's what experience is. And I think in this sort of latest climate with this coronavirus and, and the fear and the anxiety about our loved ones and, and whether we are, are going to get it and it's, it's all around us and it's really, really hard not to tap into that anxiety. And unfortunately, that is stress and stress drops our immune system down, the very thing that we need to support. And in my clinic over the years, I guess that's probably the most significant thing that I treat. And it may be an infection or a condition that they come to me for. But when you do the past history, you realize it all stemmed from some major event in their life or something that dropped down their energy levels due to stress. And what I'm trying to sort of tell everybody right now is that there are ways that you can support your stress. And so therefore, support your immune system. Because when we're stressed, we're using a lot of adrenaline. And that adrenaline floods our body with adrenaline and cortisol and creates anxiety feelings like butterfly feelings in the chest, tight band around your chest, tight band around your forehead. These are all signs that maybe your diet's not giving you all the nutrients you need to support your nervous system and your adrenals and your liver and your immune system. And that stress is actually using up a lot of your nutrients and dropping down your resistance to disease. So what I do a lot in my clinic is make up tonics during using my practitioner strength herbs, which are about eight times stronger than anything you will get in a health food store. And these herbs that practitioners have, you've got to have a therapeutic good certificate to even purchase them, let alone prescribe them. So they are eight to 12 times stronger than anything that you'll get in a health food store. And what worries me at the moment is people are rushing into the health food stores and, and, and getting lots and lots of supplements that, that are mega doses of things. And, and if your gut's not working, they're not gonna do you any good because stress also affects 
our gut and especially our gut flora. So that's something that we really need to address as well. So we need to sort of look at our sort of good probiotics. And if you need a supplement, sometimes it's better to have a powdered supplement. In my clinic, I use a powdered supplement, which you dissolved in warm water and have on an empty stomach so that you know that if your gut's not functioning properly, you know that actually that is totally absorbed. And there's also lots of foods that we can put into our diet to support our gut as well, especially sort of all the fermented foods, all the yogurts, with the lactobacillus. So, so add these to your diet. Even the, the papaya is really good. It's got digestive enzymes. And when you're stressed and your digestion is feeling low, you feel bloated, you feel sluggish, you feel tired, it's sometimes good to sort of just watch your diet and, and drop down, you know, heavy, heavy protein. Maybe instead of um, two thirds of your plate, heavy animal protein, just have one third and two thirds of, of really good leafy green veggies and lots of um, antioxidant type foods and stir fries with broccoli and, and bok choy. And, um, you know, if you buy beetroot, steam it and uh, or bake it and use the tops put those in stir fries they're so high in iron um, red capsicums full of vitamin c um, sprouts i mean everybody's home right now why not start doing having a little sprout farm and adding that sort of nutrition have a little herb farm parsley amazing source of nutrients and vitamin c add parsley into your diet sprouts seeds seeds are amazing sesame seeds contain high calcium tahini hummus all these things you can add to your diet which is giving you lots of calcium and magnesium look at fruits and berries papaya is my favorite it contains digestive enzymes it's when the stomach and your digestion is low it's very calming and mixed with berries and fruit and a good quality yogurt and maybe a re really good quality seed mix. That's a really good breakfast to start the day. If you're going to have smoothies and juices, try and have them on an empty stomach so that they can be absorbed because that's the reason that you are blending so that your body can absorb them. Also with juices, my favorite is just a carrot, celery, big knob of ginger, and some silver beet with the, the white stem cut out and just thrown that in and blend it. That is an amazing source of um, beta carotene for the liver. Celery is good for the kidneys. It's alkalizing, contains vitamin C. And then you've got the actual iron from the spinach leaf. And if it's blended and drunk on an empty stomach, between meals, it's an amazing lift. You can add some nutritional yeast or spirulina if you're vegetarian to add some B12 to that. My herbs, um, I just feel very, very passionate about plant-based nutrition. And I guess I've been doing it for a long time and I find our food sources aren't great. And so I just believe, especially in these times, everybody needs to be, have some sort of good supplement to their diet. And obviously for me, it's a practitioner herbal tonic. And my clients, I have always made an immune boosting supplement. And that is just walking out of my clinic right now. And the herbs I use for that has been my own little recipe that I've been using for probably 30 years, but it works. And most of my clients always have one of these in their pantry so that when they're under stress or they're feeling a bit fatigued, they start taking it twice a day. And it's just the basic herbs that every herbalist knows. You know, I use practitioner strength, um, Echinacea Blend Premium, 
I use um, sometimes astragalus, though I don't use astragalus for, for an acute infection, but that is good to, to boost up immunity over a long time. I use andrographis. I use um, the rosehip. I find the rosehip berry is, and rosehip extract, rosehip tea, it's 10 times higher in vitamin C than, than an orange. So it's an amazing um, herb to supplement with vitamin C. Garlic, it's our natural antibiotic. It contains natural sulfur. And so I use an extract and I put that in as well. It also helps our bowel eliminate pathogens. So I just find in this immune boosting tonic that I make, it just works brilliantly with those herbs. I also add fenugreek. Fenugreek helps clear out the lymphatic system. And that's really important right now because this virus attacks our throat. So we need to keep our throats healthy and mouth healthy. I find that thyme tea, just mixing up some fresh or some dried thyme in some boiling water and let it infuse and cool, strain it, and just gargle your throat with that after you clean your teeth every day. That will keep your throat clean of pathogens. Um, time in your food source will help as well. I just find that just vitamin D is another very, very important thing. So sunlight is important to us. Um, get out into the sun, sit on your balconies, sit in the sun, um, put your dry your clothes in the sunlight. It kills bacteria. If you can, just put your pillows out. Um, in the sunlight. These are just really simple things. Exercise gets our circulation going. It makes us sweat. It clears out our lymphatic system through our sweat glands. Get a Fitball. Start doing some exercise at home. Look at videos. Buy a few light weights, a few straps. Just get into a fitness program. Maybe this is a time that we have to become more conscious of our health and, and look at all the different things that we can do to enhance that. As far as foods, stick to lots of your fruit and veggies. Stir fries are fantastic because you can just put a third of your animal protein and then just fill up with lots and lots of good stir fry vegetables. Evening meals. Do the same, Step steam veggies, bake veggies, use a lot of hummus. Um, if you're buying bread, sourdough bread, it's fermented grains, so it helps the gut as well. I just find that the clients that are coming into my clinic are very stressed and my immune support herbs are just flying out my door. I've put together, uh, we've put together the Immunity Booster Program and it's a talk with me on immunity. It's uh, an immunity tonic and it's an immunity meal plan. Um, I've got limited supplies, but we're just here to help. And I just feel that this is my little bit that I can do my bit of information because I've been doing this for so long and I just feel that we're in a bit of time of crisis right now and I just feel everybody needs to have some form of support from everybody and this is just my my little bit that I can do of awareness around health um, due to my experience of seeing clients for the last 30 years. I just feel that it's a time, it's a conscious time that we need to sort of look at where we are and what we stand for 
And now we're so concerned about our loved ones and that we might lose them. And I just think that we need to look at our health. We need to look at our, our conscious levels. We need to, to, to feel um, our community around us. And everybody is changing. Everybody is supporting one another. And I just think it's an amazing time to grow and to be aware of our health. There's lots of information out there. I think you should find your nearest herbalist and talk to, talk to them. I just feel we need supplementation and I just think plant-based foods and plant-based supplements are amazing. There are some supplements I use in my clinic. I use a, a poly C, which has got zinc and vitamin C in it. And this dissolves in water. This is an amazing supplement. Um, I use that. I use um, clinical probiotics. And I also use herbs. There's vitamin E supplementation I use, but mostly I make tonics from my, my dispensary. Thank you so much for listening to me. I hope this has helped um, as far as your understanding what your stress levels are doing to your immune system. Thank you very much.